Good day, human Latiosites. So this is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So let's begin. Last time we continued through Sweet Stress. This time we're gonna keep on going. So we got the female Meowstic. So let's do this. Now, so far with these UX stages, I've just been using some Megas that I don't use all that often, although at some point the difficulty curve is going to start catching up with us, and I'm going to have to actually use Megas that are a little bit more on the versatile side. Thus far, I haven't actually had to deal with that quite yet, but that might change soon. So, j just a heads up that, that, that using Mega Pidgeot and the like might not necessarily be um, a uh, long-term thing. All right, so let's start with, um, let's do this, because I think Trevenant can at least get some burst damage for us. Uh, I would very much like to get the Mega off right now, but honestly, I don't really think that yeah, Hoop is not coming through. Great, now I, I really don't have anything else to do other than just straight up go for the Heracross here. Which isn't going to give us the S rank. So we're going to beat this thing at least. So hey, at least there's that. So. But a mere A rank. But you know what, hey, we at least beat this thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a plus five, but we get the S rank. Once again, we don't really need S ranks. I'm going to try to S rank these up to the original 150, and then I'm going to stop with the S ranks, because then difficulty curve might start going up. So, let's try to actually get the S rank this time. Uh, we are going to get the Mega off right away, which is kind of nice. Uh, unfortunately, there's really not too much I can do here, though. Because I, uh, I would need Trevenant to come through. I would need Hoopa to come through. And I just don't think we're gonna get... There's no way I can get four Trevenant in a row. The only way I might be able to is if I can actually get... If there's a Trevenant above um, Heracross, there is not. So yeah, that's not gonna, not gonna work. So hey, you know, that worked. That worked out for us, I guess. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll take it. I will take that. Now this should be an S rank. Because it should round down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, Trevenant did come through for us in the end. But Heracross definitely, definitely mattered there. Okay, next up we've got Masquerade. So, um, I'm thinking that we go for... I could go Shiny Ray. I think let's go Shiny Ray here. Let's do this. Alright, we have 15 moves, so we want to beat this thing with, like, a 7 left. Alright, maybe, just maybe, Charizard can come through. Actually, I want to go for the Rock Rift here, with the damage. So now, even if Charizard doesn't come through, we got this. Because, combo-wise, it's we're, we're going to get something at some point, inevitably. Actually, we might not. <laughs> All right, but you know what? Charles is going to come through right there. That is a short. That's definitely going to take that thing out. And we're going to get the mega, but it doesn't really matter because that thing's basically beaten before we actually get the mega off. So, Unity Power Charizard and Rock Ruff really coming through here. Uh, once again, Unity Power are uh, is a very high risk, high reward skill. So, I mean, the, the shot users are probably a little bit... Well, they're definitely more reliable. 
and in some cases more versatile, but if you can get the unity power off, you get a nice or the times 12 boost, so pretty good. <laughs> Can't really complain there. The activation rates, though, <laughs> leave a little to be desired. That's it. Next up, we've got Cottony. So for Cottony, I mean, I guess pretty much the same thing. I mean, I'll go with the B drill just because um, we only have five moves. So let's do this. All right, five moves. So probably one Charizard. Uh, if one Charizard activation or one Noivern activation should be uh, sufficient. So we're gonna get the Mega off right there. It doesn't even matter because the thing is basically it's done. It's pretty much done. There's it's really. Yeah. <laughs> Noiver didn't even have to come through there. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we didn't really have to rave a Charizard. Charizard is kind of good for the attack power there, but Noiver definitely came through, so with that, we got our S rank and Cottony. Alright, next up, we've got Petalil. So, I mean,. Honestly, we could do the same thing as before, just meant for the Mega Boost. Let's go. Alright, we have 15 moves to do this. Um, there's really no non-support, so I might as well just go for Mints. We're not gonna get the Mega Boost anyway. That sucks. Alright, well, that's life. Alright, so, let's... Wow, Mence is not coming through today. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... That actually sucks. Alright, there we're gonna get the Mega off. Took a little longer than I would've preferred, but, you know, that's life. Alright, let's do this, let's do this, let's do... That's about all we're gonna do here. That's fine, because we can do this, we can do this, we can do... That's all we're going to do, obviously. So, there we go. This should finish it, even if we don't activate. Oh, wow, okay. Eh, maybe you can finish it off. So... I don't use Mega Boosters all that much, uh, because they're not as reliable. <laughs> if they were if they were truly reliable, maybe uh, I would use them more, but honestly, I'd rather just something that activates and gives off actual damage. Noivern really was just mostly for the attack power here, because there was no non-support. But with that, we got our S rank 1 pedal eel. De definitely Shiny Rayquaza was what, uh, what did it for us in the end. <laughs> Alright, next up we've got Dedenne. So... I'm thinking Flygon. I'm thinking Flygon. So, let's do this. Also, we can get that Primal Groudon, hopefully, coming through for us. Although, I don't think there are any barriers. There do not appear to be barriers, so... Yeah. I shouldn't have brought the, uh, the empty slot, though, unfortunately. But fortunately, Flygon is coming through for us here. Unfortunately, now we have these Pidgey to deal with. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh, this is going to do some damage. Alright, so we can get the Mega off next, ma next match of Camera Upt. And then we'll be in really good shape to finish this thing off. So... Let's do... Let's just get the camera up off, then we can just get a combo with the, uh, with the Mega. Let's do this, let's do this. So, there we go. So, Primal Groudon was really useful with the attack power, I guess. It's not fully, uh, maxed out in level. I haven't invested in the skill at all, because it takes so many... <laughs> Of those, um, of those skill boosters. 
but it has a nice attack power though, so it's that going for it, I guess. Mostly Flygon came through there, but with that we got our S rank on Dedenne. Okay, so... Next up, we've got Slurpuff. So for Slurpuff, I'm... I think I'll just go with, like, Agron, with, like, a, just a metal team. In fact, you know what? I haven't been using Jirachi all that often, so... Maybe Jirachi can help us here. So we can get that, uh, Mega off quickly. Let's go! Alright, we have 16 moves to do this. And, alright, there are non-support here we are gonna have to deal with. I need Jirachi to come through. <laughs> like, seriously. And it's not happening. I'm just having bad luck with the, uh, with the, um, Mega Boost today. Oh my goodness, I'm bad luck with the Mega Boost. Alright, all right, Jirachi's gonna come through right there, but it's not that great, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's not gonna give us the Mega off yet. So, that kind of sucks. Alright, well, I mean, I guess just go for the Aggron now and just get the... I think I'm just going to go for the Aggron here just to get the Mega off. do I do this? Do I just do this and hope for an Aggron to fall? Or do I just go for an Aggron here and just try to combo it up? I think that's what I'm going to do here. Alright, so let's do this, this, and this. Really no hope for a Metagross. Uh, well, there's no there's no Metagross to go for for the uh, cross attack. There's no Solgaleo to go for on a four match. I mean, maybe I can just get a combo by doing this. That didn't work. All right, so you know what? Let's. Go for. I think I need to go for Agron. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. That didn't work. Not in the slightest. Alright, well, you know what? Would have been nice if Jirachi came through for us earlier. Just saying. And we might have actually gotten the S rank. This will finish it. But. <laughs> Alright, maybe Jirachi can come through for us uh, in the future. But. <laughs> that was. That was sad. Alright. So we beat this Lurp up, but didn't quite get that S rank right there. Next up is Liveherd. We are going to try Slurpuff once again and see if we can do any better. And you know, I'm just going to throw the plus five in just because. You know, I'm going to try to get that safety blanket in terms of Jirachi not coming through because I no longer trust Jirachi. So <laughs> there is that. And there is no Jirachi to go for anyway. So that that's that. Really not much more I can say about it. Jirachi's not coming through right there. Alright. So coming through there, which means... Alright, there's the Mega. Five percent? Come on! Wow, we're getting that five percent. 
Not that it makes that big a difference, because I messed up with the, uh, trying to get the Metagross. But whatever. So yeah, we definitely didn't need that plus five this time. <laughs> we, we basically had two extra moves above that plus five uh, on the, the S rank, but you know. Well, once again, it was because I didn't trust Jirachi to come through there. Also, we looked at getting that, um, getting that 5% on the Solgaleo, so definitely luck was a lot more on our side this time than last time. With that, we got our S rank at Slurpuff. Alright. So, next up, we do have Lyperd. Alright. Okay, we got a heart. Now let's go use it. Alright. So for Lyopard, I guess... You know what? We can go with... We can go with the fighting team. Um... Let's go... You know what? I never use Mega Metacham. Let's go see... Well, actually, no. I'm gonna go with Gallade. I never use Gallade either, to be honest. And I know Meloetta and Hitmonlee are probably better in terms of uh, burst damage or whatnot, but I want to see if we can get combos with Pommel. So I'm going to bring Lucario as the uh, support. So let's go. Alright, we have 15 moves to do this. And let's go. You're probably going to, yeah, figure you're going to do that. That's fine. But where's going to come through right there? Let's get the block smash off. Not quite block shot, but not bad nonetheless. Alright. We're not getting the pummel though, unfortunately. But that's okay, because this should do some damage. You're also going to add in some uh, non-support. That's that's that, I guess. Alright, let's, let's get the meg off. Can we get Lucario to... Can we get a Pummel combo into... You know, let's just get the... Let's just get the Paralyzed down with the Power Hug. So there we go. Uh, Mega Lake came through. Mine is not candied at all. So, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, it took a while to Mega Evolve and whatnot. But hey, you know, it worked. Mega Gale is not a bad Mega, it's just it's outclassed by a lot of other ones. <laughs> With that, we got our S rank on Lyopard. Okay, so next up, we've got Chansey. The OG wall. Alright, so... You know what? Let's go with Shiny Mega Mewtwo X. Let's go. Alright, we have only three moves to do this, though. So, gonna be on our A game here. Our, okay, that did not work at all for us. So we're gonna beat that thing without even getting the Mega off. We're gonna get the Mega off now, but I'm pretty sure we missed the S rank, though. I don't know, it either, if it rounds up, then we missed it. If it rounds down, then we made it. <laughs> kind of depends, because it's only three moves. I feel like they rounded up. Like, you were supposed to only beat this thing in one move. But, yeah. I don't like how they make it so you have to beat it in one move. But, you know, that's, that's, that's the way they do it. So, you know, take it for what it is. So, you know what? Let's bring in Hitmonlee. Instead, using I'm going to use Mega uh, Lucario only because we're not going to get the Mega off anyway since like to beat this thing in one move. A plus five obviously would assure you the S rank, but we're going to try to beat this thing in one hit. Let's go. Alright, so we have three moves to do this, and there is really no burst damager to go for. That kind of sucks. I mean, if Lucario can combo for us, we'll be in good shape, but... We're not even getting the pummel off! 
I mean, we're gonna beat it and all, but... Okay. Alright. I mean, it worked! <laughs> I mean, we're getting a decent-sized combo using Mega Lucario, so I guess, you know, anything's possible. Alright, so... 45 combo! <laughs> So a nice and easy stage, um, more or less. Basically just s rank up beating it in one move. We, we, we've done it before, but, you know, a little bit, three times the HP in the UX stages. So that, we got our s rank on Chansey. Next up, we have Gulpin. So, let's go with... Let's go camera up. I feel like it ha it adds non-support, but just in case, I'm gonna leave an empty slot. Even though we do have Mewtwo, but this way Flygon can come through for us. So let's go. All right, so we have 16 moves to do this. I feel like there's gonna be non-support, but I could be wrong. All right, you're gonna disrupt this. Probably getting rid of those five Mewtwo. So you are gonna mess up the Mewtwo there. That's kind of unfortunate. Mewtwo's still gonna come through on the four match, but it's not gonna do quite as much damage. Flygon's gonna come through there, that's kinda nice. Mewtwo's not gonna come through right here, but I but we're gonna get the uh Mega on camera up, so pretty much this is pretty much all but done. Flygon's gonna come through right there, and this'll finish it even if Mewtwo doesn't come through, which Mewtwo is gonna give that Cyverse, and then it's gonna finish this thing off. So nice and easy. With burst damagers, it's it's not too bad. The the, the downfall of burst damagers is when you only have like a uh like two or three moves and you just have big combos. That's when burst damagers tend to have a bigger issue, <laughs> but nice and easy. With that, we got our S rank and gulp. And next up, we have Mawile. All right, so well, Mega Mawile actually. My bad. All right, so um, as for a Mega, I think I mean I want to use a Tapper to be honest. I think I'll I'll go Camera up. Like I said, with the uh, with, with these um, boss stages, I am going to take them a little bit more seriously. Uh, other than them, I'm just going to go with uh, whatever uh, damage I can get. I think I'll go Buzzwall. I kind of want to go Beware. But it's less... It, the activation rate leaves something to be desired there. I mean, Buzzwalls does as well, but it's more accurate. Charizard, I mean, has a higher attack power, so in terms of combos. And Flygon, I feel like there's going to be non-support in here. I just can't remember. So, let's do this. Alright, we have 20 moves to do this. Yeah, there are Eevee on the board. The question is... Do I go for the buzzwall? I think I go for the buzzwall here. Alright. There are blocks we're gonna have to deal with. Ho um, hopefully camera can, can take care of that. So... Flygon's gonna come through right here, that's kinda nice. I'm gonna go for Flygon rather than Charizard, because I don't really trust Charizard to activate right there. So now we can get the Mega off, and that's kind of nice. So let's... Let's do that. Flygon's gonna come through for us, too. So, that puts us in a really good position, actually, because now... We can do this. We can go for Buzzwall here, who's not gonna come through for us, but even without coming through for us... We can go for Flygon here, and that's going to finish it off. So. Flygon definitely, definitely worked out here for us. So, um, it, it can really get rid of those Eevee and that. Um, plus doing all that damage. So with that, we got our S rank on Mega Mawile. And we got a Freeze Max level. Awesome. And that will bring us into the Silburn Museum. So, you know what? Ah, 
Let's keep going. We got Bronzor. Let's do this. Alright, we have 16 moves to do this. Uh, are you going to disrupt us? You're not going to disrupt us. We don't have any non-support, so Flygon's not going to come through for us. I might as well go for the Buzzwall here just to get some burst damage off. This is near the bottom. You can get the, uh, the combo. Alright, let's do this. Charizard's not going to come through for us, but now we can actually do this with Buzzwall. And... Can Charizard come through? Charizard's not going to come through. That's unfortunate. Especially because I don't really have anything else to really go for here. I can do this, maybe get a combo with the Buzzwall and Flygon. Pretty much everything on the board. And now any Buzzwall to come through and we win this. Buzzwall is going to come through and that's going to give us our victory. So with that, we are going to be S-ranking this Bronzor. Which is definitely pretty nice. Alright, so there we go. With that, we S-ranked Bronzor. Okay, so next up, we've got Emolga! So, we only have five moves to do this, so once again... Hopefully we can get a decent combo going on then. Let's go. Alright, we have five moves to do this. Does it add non-support? I think it might. It does, so let's go for Flygon here. And there we go. Nice and easy. Shot out or, or, is just such a versatile uh, skill because it has that 100 activation. Um, I think it's 100 activation on, on four matches. Uh, definitely on five matches. Uh, and it just does that eight times damage <laughs> when, at skill level five. All right, next. And, and you can also do it in almost any stage. There are some that have, that have the non-support as blocks and rocks, but for the most part... Uh, they're, they're just uh, non-support Pokemon. So next up, we've got Pseudo Wudo. So we can, we can actually do the same thing for the most part. Although I don't think there's gonna be barriers here, so I think I'd rather bring something like Buzzball or whatever to um, to do this, or even Greninja. I mean, I'd rather bring Greninja to be honest, but you know what? I already chose Buzzball, so let's do this. Alright, so we already have these four matches, all just just waiting to, for us to, to take them. Of course, it was a trap, because we're not actually going to get them. Okay, that sucks. Alright, we're going to get this one. Maybe we can get the next one? Nope, we're not getting it. Alright. Kind of unfortunate, but we are getting some combos, so there is that going for us. Alright, so let's do this, let's do this. Combo into the camera up right there. Let's do this, let's do this. Now we're getting a nice combo right here. In fact, I think we can go for Buzzball right afterward. And that'll not activate. Wow. Just wow. All right, you know what, that's fine. We can do this, this, and that's about it. But this should finish it. All right. I mean, I could have gone for Flygon to, to get rid of the Bonsly, but honestly, th th this was sufficient. <laughs> Alright, so that we got our S rank on Pseudo Wudo. Simple enough. The nice thing about rock types is there are so many burst damagers that can hit those rock types. That th there's so much, um, so many options. It's, it's really nice. Alright, next up, we've got Scyther. So, I mean, I could go Mega Pidgeot. So, you know what? Hey, you know what? Let, let, let's give Pidgeot a little bit more screen time, because, hey, it's probably not going to get much after now, well, after these uh, early UX stages. <laughs> Alright. So, let's do this. We can actually get the five match at Charizard, which is really nice. Alright, so... Rockruff's coming through, and we can probably finish this off right now with, uh, as long as we can get a decent combo, which we're not getting quite yet, but this should finish it. Never mind. Rockruff will come through there, though. So, 
We didn't quite get the Mega Pidgeot off because, you know, I was going for burst damagers and whatnot. But hey, Pidgeot itself still got some screen time, and that's what really counts. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, next up, we have Nidorina. Alright, Nidorina. Let's let's go in with uh, with camera up and two uh, potentially burst damagers. Let's go. Alright, we have 16 moves to do this. We have five Mewtwo, we can go for five Flygon. If you're gonna add non-support, I go for the Flygon. Ooh, I have to go for the Flygon. Just because it's more uh, consistent. And Mewtwo would have done more damage on the uh, if the Cybers came through. The problem is, I don't think the Cybers would have come through. So, so I I'm pretty sure we're gonna beat this thing way too easily. Oh my goodness, that was way too easy. I beat that thing in one move. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, we could have pretty much done anything here. I mean, a 48 combo, attack power alone, probably, even if we didn't have the, uh, the, if we didn't activate the, the shot out, still would have, uh, probably done it for us. So with that, we got our S rank on Knit Arena. Okay, so next up, we've got Knit Arena. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I guess we'll do the same thing, but with Primal Grout on. Alright, we have 15 moves to do this. Okay, I guess we go for the Mewtwo at the bottom this time, which isn't going to come through. Like I said before about Mewtwo not coming through. Mewtwo doesn't want to come through today. Wow, okay. Okay, Mewtwo. Okay, Mewtwo. I see you there. Alright. We have this working for us, at least. There's the Mega, and if Mewtwo comes through for us one time, I think we win this. There we go. Like I said. Alright. I mean, if the Nidorino didn't match them with themselves right there, I would have gone for Flygon in the last uh, turn, but... There we go! Mewtwo coming through. Alright. Next up, we've got Carbink. Alright, another uh, rock type. So... You know what, let's go with... Let's go with Shiny Gyarados. But, I'm gonna go with some... Uh, some burst damagers that I think might work for us. So let's go... I guess we go Greninja and... Let's go Rowlet. I haven't been using Rowlet that much. I don't think I've used Rowlet at all today, actually. I mean, we have, like I said, for rock types, we have so many options, it's kind of difficult to narrow it down which to use. But, that's life for you. Having options is usually not a bad thing. In fact, it's really never a bad thing, to be honest. Alright, let's go. Alright, we have five moves. Alright. Maybe Greninja can come through for us. I mean, it's quite possible it won't have to, but... Wow, Greninja's not coming through for us, but we are... But Gyarados is gonna come through for us here. So, there we go. <laughs> Unity power unnecessary. <laughs> Alright. That is the power of shiny Mega Gyarados. Oh my goodness, just, you know, get out of the way, and then you have combo score. So with that, we got our S rank on Carbink. So next up, we've got... Throw. So maybe it's time we throw in the towel. Alright, let's go with... You know what? Let's go all shiny Gardevoir on this thing. Although, if we're going to do that, I don't want to bring Mints. I'd rather just, just in case it's not going to have non-support, I'd rather Noivern actually be able to come through, since I don't have a Mega to really rely on, more or less. So, let's do this. 
This is all about Mewtwo and Wyvern. Let's go. Alright. You are gonna go for those rocks. Okay. That's fine. Um, unfortunately, though... Oh, wow, we are gonna actually... Noivern is gonna come through on three. That's really nice. Okay, Mewtwo, can you come through? Mewtwo's not gonna come through. That kind of sucks, but, you know, that's life for you. Alright. Mewtwo, come through. Nope, not coming through. We are gonna get the Mega off. So, maybe Shiny Gardevoir will be our saving grace here. Who, who knows? Because Mewtwo is sure not coming through for us. Oh my goodness. Shiny Gardevoir came through. Alright, Mewtwo is gonna come through in the end for us, but Shiny Gardevoir gave us one gave us some nice combo there. Oh my goodness. Alright. So with that we got our S rank on Fro. Alright. Next up, we've got Sock. I feel like there's gonna be barriers here somehow. But, you know, whatever. Let's do the same thing. Maybe we can make something happen for us this time again? Alright, we have 15 moves to do this. Alright, so can Mewtwo come through for us? Let's do this. Wow, Mewtwo is coming through here. Nice. Alright. Not coming through twice, though. So, you know. There, there, there are limits to, to what Mewtwo will do for you, I guess. I, I, I guess. So. Let's do this. Moivern is coming through there. Getting rid of all those rocks at the bottom. Noivern is going to give us some damage here, and now I think we can probably finish this if Noivern can come through, which is not happening. Wow, all right. Noivern, if you don't come through right here, we're in trouble. All right, Noivern's coming through, and there we go. So we didn't have to rely on Gardevoir this time. It's kind of a weird thing to think about relying on Shiny <laughs> Gardevoir when you're using these, using Noivern and Mewtwo. But with that, we got our S rank on Sock. All right. And next up, we've got Chimeco. So you know what? Let's finish up today on UX Stage 100. I can't believe we made it through 100 UX stages. Like, seriously. That's insane. All right. So if memory serves, it is good to bring Chimeco to the stage. Now, we could go Trevenant, but I feel like given that is three times the HP... Probably better off using the, the Chimeco just to, for it to combo um, pretty big. So, where might I find Chimeco? I know it's Psychic like Types, let's just search for Psychic Types. Alright, there you go. So, I'll just go Gengar, Hoopa, and, uh, and, and Chimeco. Let's go. Let's combo big today. Alright, we have 16 moves to do this. Now this is a really good stage if you um, for the uh, missions, uh, the mission cards to get those big combos on. So, that, that that's probably the, the majority of my use for this stage in general. Although there are better stages for that. Alright, you know what, let's get the mech off now. It's about time we do that. Alright, so now Hoopa come through, please. Hoopa's not coming through for us. Okay. That is unfortunate, but we are going to get some combos now. Because fortunately, while it might not be activating its uh, typeless combo, it does have a decent attack power. So, at least we have that going for us. Alright. So, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have too big an issue with actually beating this thing in general. So. Who knows what kind of uh, combo we can get. Probably not particularly big, but who knows. Alright, Typhus combo, that's definitely going to finish it off. So. Might get a big combo, but who really knows? <laughs> Probably not that big yet. Yeah, only 27, that's fine. Alright. 
But this is definitely a good stage if you want a big combo. I think another good stage is Dodo L. And considering it has the triple the HP and it's pretty easy to beat, I think if you haven't finished the big combo mission card missions, you, doing it in the UX stages is probably the way to go nowadays. Only because it has more HP, so you have more leeway, uh, you have more opportunities to get the big combos. So, just food for thought. So with that, we got our S rank on UX stage 100. Chime Echo. Alright. So... Next up is Don Fan. So I guess we'll be taking on Don Fan next time. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.